And it's like, yeah, I'm cool with her. And then they just shut up. Do you hear something? Mr. Top Loaded Gaming, the fucking garden gnome who thinks he's intelligent. Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. So the situation regarding Trust Chill and Destiny FOMO really wasn't sitting well with me. I wanted to go back through it and compare the kid's story he gave Tipster's moderator with that of my own. So I contacted him and one thing I want to say is if you know who this moderator is, I am choosing to keep him anonymous because he's not a part of the Tipster News team. So not that I'm telling other people what to do, but the guy is not really a big YouTuber to have him be the subject of ridicule, nor do I think he had any malicious intent because he willingly shared Trust Chill's DMs with me knowing exactly what I was looking for. So if he did this on purpose, he wouldn't have given them to me. But certainly you can all do what you like on your own channels. Now after he sent me his DMs from Trust Chill, one thing that I want to corroborate is this mod did reach out to Trust Chill first, not the other way around. Another thing is before I went live with Tipster, we were comparing my DMs with Trust Chill and the mods DMs with Trust Chill. I told Tipster that the kid was claiming that Destiny FOMO threatened him and then she deleted it. Tipster took issue with this and said he remembered no such claim made by Trust Chill and if that had been the case that would have certainly been a red flag. So Tipster asked the mod and the mod unfortunately said that Trust Chill made no mention of a deleted comment on Destiny FOMO's part. Now upon putting these DMs side by side last night I quickly saw the third message down clearly shows that Trust Chill did in fact mention this deleted message where Destiny FOMO threatens him. So if you go back and watch the stream me and Tipster did, the information that me and Tipster had was unfortunately and unbeknownst to us bogus. Now Tipster has prepared his own statement regarding this which I'll play now. Hey Trevor, thanks for having me on to explain my side of things. So Trevor contacted me this morning to uh, discuss a conversation that he had with a moderator from my Discord server. This is the moderator that we mentioned on the live stream where I debunked Smash's claims against me. Uh, the moderator that Trust Chill had contacted in order to submit this story to me. I guess uh, Trevor had a conversation with that moderator and the moderator looked over his conversation with Trust Chill again and and realized that there was a section of that conversation where Trust Chill mentions that Destiny FOMO, uh, you know, or he claims rather that Destiny FOMO had deleted uh, a message in his conversation with her on Instagram. Now, I had previously asked uh, this moderator if uh, the kid had made that statement to him at any point in time in this conversation. And unfortunately, he said no, uh, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, Trevor uh, was able to provide me a screenshot uh, from this moderator uh, that proves otherwise. And unfortunately, it looks like that was an oversight uh, by the moderator, because I did ask the moderator if the kid made this statement at any moment in time, and he informed me that he didn't, but it does appear that uh, he was mistaken. Uh, this uh, statement was definitely made by Trust Chill at one moment in time during the conversation. Now, Trevor asked me if for me this changes anything in regards to is there still a valid story here, and for me personally, I would have to say that it doesn't, and I will explain why. Uh, the reality is that when we report a story on Tipster News, uh, we like to have evidence that backs up the claims that are being made. And while this definitely is a little bit concerning, um, the evidence still doesn't prove that. There is no way for us to prove, unfortunately, that Destiny FOMO uh, deleted any messages during the Instagram conversation. Uh, for those of you guys who aren't familiar, you definitely can delete messages that you've sent on Instagram. They have an unsend a message option. Uh, so it's definitely possible, 100%, it's definitely possible that Destiny FOMO could have deleted a threatening message from that conversation chain. But unfortunately, there's no way for us to prove that that actually happened. And because of that, I still won't be running the story because I can't prove uh, that she deleted any message. And unfortunately, I don't report on speculation on my channel. If the evidence doesn't prove definitively that a statement that's being made is fact, 
then I'm not going to report on it. I understand that there's probably going to be some people that are going to be upset by that, and it is what it is. People are welcome to criticize me for whatever actions I have, but I hold my credibility uh, regarding myself and my channel uh, to the highest degree, and unfortunately, I'm not willing to sacrifice that credibility just to please the masses. It just is what it is. If the evidence doesn't definitively prove a statement that's being made, I don't run the story. Again, Thank you, Trevor, for having me on. I appreciate you taking the time, and take care, everyone. So I have to say that I 100% agree with Tipster that without the facts, there is no story to report just yet. That's the thing that I think a lot of people fail to realize, that unless something is provable, certain channels will not report on it. And look, if your stick is conjecture, rumors, go for it. Certainly people can discuss possibilities if they want to, but to report on something as if it factually happened without any sort of facts, I nor Tipster will do that. Least of all to appease anyone. You cannot put up channels that try to stick to facts and judge them together with people that just talk pure conjecture. Additionally, I did try to get proof of which thumbnail was used first as this was another point of contention. But we checked the Wayback Machine and couldn't find anything. However, like me and Tipster were discussing prior to the stream, you can see Destiny FOMO mentioning she had porn over her head. So I'm inclined to believe Trust Chill because I have no reason to doubt his word. Whereas with Destiny, I have several. One thing I'll say that doesn't make sense to me is that Trust Chill says he didn't delete anything to make Destiny look bad. While it may be true he didn't delete something specifically for that reason, I don't know, he did delete messages himself. They both deleted messages. When I asked Trustio, he said he didn't want to be called or accused of photoshopping. And the thing is, if you don't want to be accused of faking messages, keep your receipts. So that's kind of odd to me, but he's a kid, so I'm granting him a little bit of an experience on his side. Now, Destiny claims she deleted everything once he started deleting things. Ultimately, if Destiny FOMO is the person a lot of people seem to think that she is, believe me, she'll end up showing her absolute true color soon enough. When that time comes and Tipster doesn't call her out, then I'll call him a simp myself. Until then, you guys are off base. Lastly, I want to address something I've heard a few people say. Tipster didn't ask his commentary buddies to go tweet and have his back. Thing is, Augie felt like Smash was talking shit, and that's how it started. I mean, someone can only hear something so many times before they start asking questions of their own. So check your facts on that. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. This is Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. See you next time.